Hello, my name is Dr. Richard Rabinowitz and I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Barrington Orthopedic Specialist. I specialize in treating injuries and conditions which affect the back, neck, and spine. In this video, I will be discussing cervical and lumbar radiculopathy versus spinal stenosis. Cervical and lumbar radiculopathies are conditions of the spine where a nerve becomes pinched between spinal discs. As discs age, they lose their height and begin to bulge. Additionally, they may become stiff as they lose their water fluid content. This pinching on the nerves can cause pain in the neck or back and may in fact radiate into the shoulder and arm or down into the leg. This condition may occur in the cervical spine or neck region, but also in the lumbar or lower back region of the spine. Spinal stenosis is a condition that can cause lower back and leg pain from narrowing of the spinal canal. This narrowing puts pressure on the spinal cord and spinal nerve roots, causing pain, numbness, or weakness in the legs. In most cases, cervical and lumbar radiculopathy patients will see an improvement in symptoms just with time and no treatment. However, for those patients who do not see improvement in time, non-operative treatment options may include soft collars, physical therapy, medications, and sometimes spinal injections. All of these can help relieve the pain of cervical and lumbar radiculopathy. Lumbar spinal stenosis can be treated non-surgically through physical therapy, lumbar traction, anti-inflammatory medications, steroid injections, acupuncture, or chiropractic manipulation. Although these non-surgical methods may relieve pain and restore function, they will not improve the narrowing of the spinal canal. When non-surgical treatment options for cervical and lumbar radiculopathy or spinal stenosis patients prove unsuccessful in relieving pain, surgery may be recommended. Common procedures performed for cervical and lumbar radiculopathy include minimally invasive procedures such as microdiscectomy, discectomy with fusion, disc replacement, or other microdecompressions. Depending on the location of the radiculopathy symptoms, your doctor will determine the best surgical treatment option for you and discuss that treatment method with you as well. For spinal stenosis patients, surgical treatment options may include laminectomy, which involves the removal of the bone and ligaments that are compressing the nerves, with or without spinal fusion surgery, which involves joining two or more vertebra thereby decompressing the nerves and restoring stability to the spine. To learn more about cervical and lumbar radiculopathy versus spinal stenosis, please visit our website. Thank you very much for choosing Barrington Orthopedic Specialists.